Hi everybody, this is Joe Krug from FinSuite with a new FinSuite Webflow hack. In this hack, we learn how to take the name text input from a form field and customize the success message based on what was entered into that text field. We have a very similar hack to this that takes the person's interest from a dropdown field and puts it in the success message. We had a hack request that focuses more on the text input and taking the name. So if the person's name is Mike, they enter Mike into the text field. We are going to say, hey, thank you, Mike, for your submission. Let's jump in and see how it works. We're in the live example and we have a form on the page. This form has only a name field because for this hack, we are only taking the name and putting it in the success message. All right, I'm gonna go fill this out. My name is Joe Krug and I'm going to submit this. Nice, thank you, Joe Krug. I now feel like I'm connected to this site. I'm super amped about my submission and we'll see that as you put a different name in, we have our custom name put into the success message. Now let's say there is no name, you have a whole bunch of fields, names not required, and someone doesn't fill it out, no problem. We're going to revert to the default success message. All right, let's jump into Designer and see how this works. We're in Designer and we have to identify three elements on the page. We need the form, we need the input, and we need the text in the success message. We are using a native Webflow form here, and we have our form element that we are applying a class of hack29 email form. We have an ID on our input field, and the ID is hack29 name input. And then we are going to go into our success message and see that we have a custom success message class on this text. And here we have hack29 custom message. And with these three elements with custom unique identifiers, we're going to be able to work with them inside custom code. Let's break down this code line by line. Before the closing body tag, we're going to insert our script. We are going to listen for when the form is submitted. We have our hack29 email form class, and on submit, we're going to run a function. This is not when the submit button is clicked, it's when the form is going and attempting to be submitted. And we're going to first set a reference to our input field. This is so we can easily use it later on in the code. We have our hack29 name input, which is the text field that we applied the ID to. And that ID, that input field, is being stored as a variable called name. So now we have a reference to this. We're gonna reuse it later on when we are constructing our success message. Let's run an if statement to see if there's any information in that input field. If the name field has a value, we're going to construct our success text. What does this trim mean? What does val mean? Trim is taking out the white space, taking out the characters we don't want to make sure that we are accurately reading if there is information in that input field or not. Maybe the user put a space in there or a weird character we're not familiar with. And in that case, we are going to get rid of that. We just wanna see the text that's inside that input. And we're going to see the name, which we have established earlier up here, and we're gonna get the value of it. And if the value of that input is there, there's something, we're going to target our hack29 custom message. We're going to change the text of that message to this. Thank you, space, plus name, val, plus exclamation point. 
and that is constructing a full string of text that says, thank you, Mike, exclamation point. And you can see that we are literally building this with text strings, our variable with a value, and another text string. And you can see we have a space here that allows for a space after saying thank you. You can go and put a comma here. You can write more. You can do whatever you want here. And this is the key plus our name input plus whatever else you want. Or you can just go and remove this. Thank you, Mike. That's it. Nice. So after we've built our custom success message, we are then going to return true, which is submitting the form. Great. Now, let's say there is no text inside that input. We did not successfully get through this if statement. The text is not there. It's blank. We're going to skip this. We're not going to build our own success message. We're not going to submit the form yet. We're going to go to the else. So if there's no value, we're going to create a success message, which happens to be the default success message inside Webflow. And we are targeting the Hack29 custom message again, and we're changing the text to thank you, your submission has been received. Nice. So it's the same process as what we're doing above. We're just not using the name value. Nice, and we can have whatever text we want here. And then of course, after we've built the default success message, we're going to return true, which will submit the form. And that is how you take what's inside an input field and put it in the success message. Thank you so much for checking out this hack. Please clone the project. We have the entire hacks project available for clone. Start learning how these hacks work and use them on your live site. We're always releasing new hacks. So if you want to be updated, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want a super simple plain text email when we release a new hack, sign up at finsuite.com slash hacks dash updates. If you want to request a hack, we'll check it out and see if it's possible in Webflow. Go to finsuite.com slash hacks dash request. That's effing sweet.